When I started my career at 18, uh, going to architecture school, I thought I'd work in a traditional architectural environment uh, until I retired. But actually, my interests and specialities have changed over the years, and based on my experience, I've now moved into information management. I really enjoy my career working with um, organisations of all different sizes, um, fundamentally using BIM and technology and information in order to make better performing assets. I always wanted to be an architect from an early age and I went to university at 18 to become just that. I became a chartered architect and I worked in the industry for a number of years. But it wasn't until I undertook a master's in construction project management and started to work with organisations on implementing uh, BIM workflows that I started to get really excited about information management. So naturally my career has changed and steered in a different way but I'm really lucky that I get to work on some fantastic projects not only here in the UK but globally. Hard work is not going to create success by its own. You need to use it in combination with determination. You need to have a hunger and an, an idea and understand of where you want to be. So a question to you is, where do you see yourself in five years time? Have, where is your ambition going to take you? So hard work and determination, I guarantee you'll be able to do anything that you want to. It gives me immense satisfaction to see um, my publications not only been authored but also been translated into other languages. When I was 21 I was diagnosed as being dyslexic so for me to be able to communicate in the written word and have my work published is a, is a fantastic achievement. As a child of the 80s, I, I loved uh, 80s pop music and um, when I went to university to supplement my income while I was a student, um, I started to really develop my passion for music and in particular house music uh, and I started to DJ as a way to, to get money and I would DJ at various uh, student unions um, across London and I think the pinnacle of my uh, short but an uh, enjoyable DJing career was at uh, Super Club Ministry of Sound in London. And if I was to bring together my love of music and architecture in the built environment, it would have to be to build a, a super nightclub here in the northeast of England, um, in Newcastle, with a chill out lounge at the top, uh, with great views looking at the fabulous bridges that we have here along the River Tyne. Outside of construction, um, I developed a love of triathlon, which started out from initially as marathon running. Um, and I've been really fortunate to run a number of marathons uh, around the world. And that led on to the dream of one day competing an Ironman. So an Ironman is a long distance race comprising of 2.6 mile swim, um, a 112 mile bike, then a 26 mile marathon. And I managed to do that in 2007. Since then I've done some more Iron Men, but I think the thing that that has taught me is that maybe never judge a book by its cover. I don't look like your typical athlete, but actually these endurance events are all about mental ability as well as physical ability. And so my sporting heroes would be uh, the Iron Man Chrissy Wellington and I draw a lot of inspiration from her and her achievements that she's um, gained in the sport. I have many idols within architecture and, and construction, but I think perhaps my biggest idol uh, within BIM and information management is my colleague David Philp, um, who I co-authored BIM uh, for Dummies with. Uh, Dave has been instrumental within the UK BIM programme and continues to be a mentor for me in my own career development.